So if I'm being completely honest here, pretty much, now it wasn't every single one, but pretty much everything I wore this past week got me some positive attention. At least one person on almost every fragrance I wore to work this week or on my days off or whatever told me I smelled good. So it was definitely a highly complimented week. It's week number 41 of my rotation. And yes, I know, you don't have to tell me. I'm looking fresh as So starting off on Sunday is one that's from a house that I've recently did a video on, checking out all five of their offerings. And I got to tell you, this was quite a soapy fresh scent that was just a pleasure to wear. It went all day and then some, and it projected pretty heavy for several hours it's from Authenticity Perfumes, Summer Vibes. So man, I got to tell you what, you don't need a lot of sprays of this. Three, four sprays and you're good and really because it's such big sprays you can do half sprays all over the place you could do maybe half half and a whole one on the back of your neck and then do a half on the top of each forearm that and one on your chest that was what i did um, that way it's kind of spread out all over the place good sillage easy for me to smell as well and it's just fresh the citrus in this one uh it's got a creaminess but it's actually quite soapy more soapy than I initially expected it to be because I thought Barbershop was going to be the soapy one when Barbershop was actually the creamy one. And this was the soapy one. Super fresh. Smells great. If you want to check out some of their offerings or uh, maybe get a sample pack just to try them out. They are running 10% off right now. Uh, there is a link down below to check out Authenticity Perfumes. They got some good stuff. Definitely worth checking out. It's all originals. They don't smell like other fragrances. They're not clones. and uh, Definitely enjoy to wear. Wanted if you're looking for a soapy fresh fragrance, Summer Vibes definitely does the trick. And then out the shower that night, haven't worn this in a long time. Everyman Jack. This is the sandalwood scent. So it's vanilla and sandalwood. It's synthetic, don't get me wrong. But it actually projects pretty well for like the first hour and a half to two hours. And uh, lasts a good solid six hours on my skin before it fades. Uh, I've been having this and cedar. The cedar wood scent with the the red square on the side for a long time now i just think it lost in the shuffle i forget i have them haven't sprayed them in a long time and this is just such a relaxing scent because it's a creamy sandalwood with vanilla it's beautiful very very relaxing out the shower laid back kind of day this is a lay in the hammock kind of scent if you will and i was smelling great out the shower that night with every man jack sandalwood moving into tuesday this might be my favorite baccarat rouge 540 type of scent um, projects very well on my skin the scent is beautiful and it lasted just about all day I did a full review on it last week it's from Christian Siriano it's Ula Rouge you've been seeing a lot of people do reviews on this and a lot of positivity about it for good reason I think it's a very very good scent I do love the way it smells God, this smells so good I have Instant Crush, I have Kalan, which are two different ends of it. Instant Crush is more floral, Kalan's way more spicy. I have several clones of Baccarat Rouge 540. I have clone houses that did hybrids with Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, a lot of different ways to smell like BR 540, and this is actually my favorite because it smells so close to it. This smells better than a lot of clones that I have. It's just, it's just what it is really really digging this one and then out the shower that night is a recent acquisition from when i went to louisiana really digging this one jeffrey bean eau de gray flannel it's masculine it's got an old school vibe it's fresh it just smells good you know just another way around it for 12 bucks 120 milliliter bottle it just smells good out the shower that night oh Dick Gray Flannel. Moving on into Wednesday is actually a clone house that had reached out to me, wanted me to check out some of their scents, and I was actually quite surprised. You can hear that. That's from this Magnetic Caps Dossier Parfums, Dossier Perfumes, excuse me. This is Fresh Woody Number no. 4, which is their version of Polo Blue, and not Polo Blue, the EDT, the old one. This is Polo Blue, the Eau de Parfum, because 
I was looking at the note breakdown and I'm smelling myself when I had it on. I'm like, man, this is not even close to the note breakdown of the Eau de Toilette. There's no cucumber in here. There's none of that. So I looked and it's a similar note breakdown to the Eau de Parfum. So that's what they were going for. They need to correct that on the site. It just says Polo Blue. It says that on the card as well. It just says Polo Blue. It doesn't say which Polo Blue. So naturally you would think the original. And I just love, I, while I was at my desk, I was just playing around all day long. These magnetic caps are such a nice touch. Atomizer kind of, kind of sucks to be completely honest, but the magnetic cap and the quality of the scent and the performance, because I did not have to refresh with this. It went my entire work day. They definitely did a good job. This is some, some of the better, nicer clones uh, that I've tried. I will be trying more from them in the near future, hopefully. I uh, haven't tested the Armani code past that video so far, but I'll tell you what, their version of Polo Blue EDP, it's a damn good one. And then out the shower that night, one that I haven't sprayed out the shower in a while, it's kind of what I use it for, Essential Obsessions version of Azaro Chrome Sport. Uh, this is actually a deeper, richer, more powerful version of Chrome Sport because this is a note of parfum concentration. It projects as such. And it just smells deeper. If I'm being completely honest with you, this is better than the original Chrome Sport because it just performs so much better. And it smells like it too. It smells just like it. Believe it or not, sometimes it's better to get the clone of the cheapy because you can get that cheap 20, 25 bucks for a 100 milliliter bottle. I love that fragrance. This is deeper and richer. Same thing with Sensual Obsessions version of Tommy Hilfiger. It's just a deeper, richer version of Tommy. Tommy doesn't perform that well, but it smells great. But Sensual Obsessions has a version that performs better. So same thing here, out the shower that night. Chrome Sport from Sensual Obsessions. So this is actually moving into Wednesday. I believe I said Wednesday on the last one, but what you see on screen is correct. Because <laughs> when I watch it back, I put the appropriate graphic on screen. This is from my most recent haul. I love the way this smells. It sadly does not perform that well on my skin. I did a full review on that. I'll put it right here. That's on Azaro Wanted Tonic. Newest flanker from this year. It's a tester. That's why it doesn't have a cap. It has this little sleeve. Smells great. Love the way it smells. Just doesn't perform. After an hour, it sits really close to the skin. And after four hours, it's gone. At least on my skin. Some may get a little better performance. Some may even get a little bit worse. But it does smell really good. You can get a 100 milliliter tester. The $30 range, I paid 32 bucks for this. It's a fresher version of Wanted. You know, I don't regret purchasing it at all. I mean, I have fragrances that I paid that much for that perform worse than this. That's just what it is. It smells really good. I do have a use for it. Running errands, out the shower, casual day. This, this is good for that. Don't think just because I, I reported back with four hours of longevity doesn't mean it's not worth at least sampling. Sample this one first. Don't just blind buy it unless you just got 30 bucks burning a hole in your pocket. But not a bad fragrance. It actually smells really good. It just doesn't perform worth a crap. And then out the shower that night, Davidoff Cool Water, the mild deodorant. Don't get the performance. It's not as minty as, uh, as the Eau de Toilette. It's a bit more subdued and mellow, but it's perfect out the shower when you're just in the mood for fresh shower jelly type of scent cool water stuff you know cool water is known for that the mild deodorant it is great for just a refresher out the shower this is perfect for that and out the shower that night that is exactly what i used it for cool water mild deodorant moving into thursday this is another one from that recent haul that come the six hour mark i thought all right it's starting to fade i think six hours is all i'm really going to get out of this and i was quite surprised eight hours rolled around Till it finally faded to a skin scent. It's the newest flanker from the Loam line. YSL Loam Le Parfum. It smells like a bluer version of Loam. The geranium really stands out. If I'm being honest here, it's, it's over there. So I should have grabbed it ahead of time. The geranium in this will remind you of another flanker from the loam line which is actually of the lana wheat de loam line which lana wheat de loam is a flanker alone oh electric granted that one has some vanilla going for it but the geranium the way the geranium comes off they have a similarity they do 
They don't smell exactly the same though. That similarity starts to fade after a little while, but that's what it is. It's, the, it's because the geranium is so heavy in this one and it's heavy in O Electrics as well. Uh, but this is a much bluer fragrance. This is definitely a blue mass appealing fragrance. It's what they were going for. It doesn't project real heavy. Um, you know, arm's length for the first hour, about half an arm's length for the second hour, and then a mild scent trail for several hours following. It's not, you know, you got to really get within range of someone for them to really smell you after that first two or so, three hours. Um, it sits pretty close to the skin at that point, at least for me. But it stays for a lot longer than I actually thought it was going to, which for a, a parfum concentration, I'm glad it went that long. Um, it's actually kind of in a sweet spot. It's a great work fragrance. Fantastic for the office. Um, if you were skeptical about getting this one, I know they're out at Sephora's and places like that. Go try this one. Go sample it. You might like it. If you like Loam at all, or are just a fan of blue fragrances, it's an amped up version of Loam, essentially. It modernized a classic scent, which Loam is a classic scent at this point. It was a pleasure to wear. Why I sell Loam, Le Parfum. And then out the shower that night, one of my favorites, Nautica Classic. I've talked about this so many times on the channel, it's not even funny. We'll just move on to the next day. Moving into Friday, it had been a little while since I busted this one out. And it, yeah, it's kind of a little too hot for it. And I did spray according. I didn't spray according to the temperature outside. I sprayed it like I would normally spray it. Heavier than I should have. Got a few compliments, actually. I smelled great all day. It went eight, nine hours on my skin. Great performance on my skin. Spice Bomb, Victor and Rolf. Such a good fragrance. It really is. The original. Still performs great on my skin. This bottle's like a year old. It's not some old batch. God, that smells so good. It's not some old batch with crazy longevity. I still get great longevity. It still projects very well for the first few hours. This is a, a magnet for compliments. It really is. It's a little much for work, to be honest with you, especially for what I sprayed it for. I think I sprayed like seven sprays. Seven or eight sprays. That's a lot on this one. And uh, I was smelling great. I actually got two compliments and was happy about it too <laughs> so on friday spice bomb victor and rolf and then out the shower that night after smelling spicy all day long what's some fresh citrus how about some lemonade jimmy chu man ice and it's such a great smell it really is it actually projects pretty heavy now when i spray this one i spray the front of my neck too so i smell it pretty well for you know hour or so until it starts to fade. The scent quality on this one is just gorgeous. Similar scent profile to Diorum Cologne, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, those, that whole genre of lemonade smelling fragrances. It smells great. It, it's the weakest performer, so it's great for out the shower. That's what I tend to like to use it for, really and truly. And I actually use it on Saturday night as well. So for the next day, I'm, I'm not going to pull it out again, but I use this Friday and Saturday night out the shower and last but not least on saturday on game day i was in the mood i've been talking about it a couple in a couple of videos recently spraying it out in there and smelling it i wanted to smell it on my skin and god i smelled some kind of good on saturday i did get two compliments on saturday as well zaharoff signature pour room been recommending it recently and spraying it in the air like this and getting to smell it in little short bursts it was really such an addictive smell for me. I was really wanting to wear it, so I busted it out on Saturday. It was perfect time for it, and it smelled great. God, I smelled good all day long. And I actually did not have a need to refresh, but at like the six hour mark, I just wanted to strengthen up my scent bubble and I actually pulled my shirt like this, sprayed down on my chest again, three around the neck, one on my shirt, did a five spray refresh, and Smelling great all over again. Want to highly suggest you guys check out. There's always a link in my videos if you want to check out a sample or get your hands on a bottle if you haven't already. And that's the Haroff Signature Pour Home. And of course, like I said before, Jimmy Choo Man Ice was what I wore out the shower Friday and Saturday night. Well, guys, that was the rotation for week number 41. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have already? I mean, it was... It was a good week for some positive attention for my scent. That is for sure. And uh, enjoyed wearing every single one of these, as I usually do. 
I mean, uh, I'm not going to wear something I don't want to wear. And uh, definitely smelling good. And some I strongly suggest you check out for yourself. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of the fragrances discussed in this video, and you give them a spray now, probably thank me later. Who knows? Have a good one, guys. This is not a drill.